aisle. This is a video to uh, show you how to get one of these cheap Chinese gimbals onto a TBS Discovery frame using one of my 3D printed adapters. I've already removed the PCB and noted orientation, marked up any connections that I need to mark and mounted on the, on, on the frame here. Um, I do have little boxes that I can put these in that are 3D print as well but for all of you out there that haven't got one of those, a couple of pieces of the foam tape will suffice. Right, gimbal. As I said, I've already disassembled most of it, but you get the idea. So that's what it looked like in the first place with the board in here. We don't need that bit. I've already taken the screws out of the rear. We don't need this bit. Feed that through there. Don't need that bit. Why would you want that anyway? <laughs> right. That's the correct orientation for the gimbal. So it's going to go that way onto there. Um, I've seen a lot of people using my adapters with this way around. They were actually done so that you could get a you know, a central view. So the lens is in the middle of the craft. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of holes here where I've mounted other cameras in different places on. But I found that a nice central location, which I've now done with this one, it's an updated version, um, has the the camera at the top so when this is all in place and this is on here even when it's on its fullest extent the GoPro is not in the view of the FPV camera well you might get to see it but it won't interfere with your flying experience so now the first thing we're going to do is I've already put the uh, TBS bars into the mount I've already got the board cam and mounted it to the adapter plate so what we're going to do now is I want the wire to come out of this side of the motor so I'm going to line those up with there, and then we're going to go around the back, and we're going to mount the adapter to the gimbal. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of these steps so that you don't have, you know, a bit like a Blue Peter experience, if that makes any sense to say. This is what I did earlier. But, fixed. So, that's on there. Now we're going to fix the gimbal to the discovery. Line holes up, there's another screw. We have we now have camera, gimbal and everything in frame. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to feed the wires through. You can do this however you like. There is no wrong way, there is no right way. And sometimes a pair of tweezers are very handy. Motor one. Bring this one round through there. You can do a much neater job than this, I'm just doing it illustration purposes. Put that on there, then we're going to get the IMU cable, the IMU cable, IMU cable comes across and into Right, well for all intents and purposes, that is mounted. Of course you're going to tidy your wiring up. I won't because you don't want to watch the video forever. Get the GoPro. GoPro goes in. GoPro gets mounted. Tighten it up. And as I said you can add moon gel into the bottom of this camera if you need. And as you can see it's pretty well balanced. These are quite easy to balance because now that's too heavy and that's too much. So, about there, a little bit more, there we go, balanced. Let's get a battery. It's fed by the balance plug. Wait for the gimbal to initialise. There we go. 
There we go. And as you can see, even on its furthest, the camera's right over the side. And that is a pretty quick way, I think you'll agree, of getting a gimbal on a TBS if you can't afford the Pro. Pro is beautiful, but we can't all afford it. There we go.